The Pinell County Sheriff's Office is looking for a man who may be connected with the attempted kidnapping of a 12-year-old Gold Canyon girl. The incident occurred January 20, 2010, near the 6,000 block of South Russet Way in Gold Canyon. The suspect is described as a Caucasian male, approximately 6'2 or 6'3, 20 to 30 years old, with short dark hair, green eyes, and a multicolored circular tattoo on the right side of his neck. He was seen driving an older model tan or brown four-door sedan with manual door locks. After the governor's announcements that the state's juvenile correctional facilities will be closed, ASCOP's attorneys, legislative and administrative staff, and board members have been working hard to come up with a response. ASCOP's president, Larry Lopez, had this to say. At no point in the history of our state have we seen elected officials act with such blatant disregard for the public safety. He said, it will take all of us working together to effectively communicate our message as we attempt to change the direction of the legislative and this governor. Daniel Chapin from Orange County, California is walking more than 1,600 miles in hopes of increasing American solidarity. Chapin walked from Phoenix to Queen Creek about 45 miles and plans to continue on through New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Georgia, and eventually end up in Tennessee. Tickets went on sale Tuesday for the Taste of Superstitions event on February 6th. Hosted by Superstition Area Land Trust, the event will feature seminars on the preservation of natural spaces as well as the opportunity to sample jellies and soups made with plants from the Sonoran Desert. Stories. Be sure to go ahead and click any of the links on the page. Keep checking out our headline news always changing as the news occurs and be sure to enjoy your free copy of Santan Valley today right here at the top of the page. Remember, for excellent retro music, terrific variety shows all localized for you. And don't forget, listen and win money prizes, trips, and more by tuning into KQCK Live. That's 24 hours a day. I'm Joe, signing out. Be safe and have a great day.